What's going on guys? It's Tony from Lone Wolf Paintball today. We're going to talk about what to wear when paintballing. Tony, what should I wear? I can't go out in my birthday suit? No, I probably, well, I mean, yeah, no, I don't think you can. Uh, it's kind of a wide range of where you want to start out with. Is it your first time playing? Is it your 10th time playing? Uh, basics, obviously, looking at goggles. You're gonna need a good goggle, and we're gonna talk about that closer toward the end of the video. Uh, basically, you could wear what I'm wearing right now, jeans and a t-shirt. You could do that, or you could wear jeans uh, on a hooded sweatshirt, something like this, guys. I'd always recommend if it's your first time, or even, you know, you've played a couple times. Any, any coverage that you can get is always gonna be good, covering any exposed skin. So even jeans and a hooded sweatshirt can definitely get you started. You've got a little padding within the hoodie, so that's good. It's gonna, you know, keep you safe, and you're still gonna have a good time. So if you're a little nervous out there, and you aren't quite sure, you're like, I heard it stings, I don't, not really looking forward to that aspect of it per se, We've got chest protectors that are available. Multiple brands, obviously sizes. So this is a chest protector that normally goes underneath on your actual body and with like a um, hoodie or a jersey over top. So this is fully padded. It's got shoulder pads, front pads, and it also has full padding on the back as well. So like I said, if you are a little nervous out there and you want some extra padding, I would definitely recommend picking up one of the chest protectors. I like it because it makes me look like I have muscles. There you <laughs> Mark just wears it when he goes out to casual dining, so it makes him, yeah. Grocery store. Sure. Grocery store for sure. <laughs> um, next up, kind of uh, going in, staying in the realm of if you're kind of a beginner. So there are plenty of brands and options available for neck protectors. If you guys are worried about getting shot in the throat or the Adam's apple area, get yourself a neck protector here, and that'll definitely, and it's obviously fully padded, That'll help you ease the pain if you do happen to get shot in the neck area. Same thing, kind of speaking of the padded protection stuff, we're talking about gloves. If you ever have taken a shot to the hands, you know it hurts, and something like this, you can still move mobile, but there are there is padding on the front in the actual fingers of this uh, particular brand as well. So. Obviously going back to jeans and hoodie, that's cool. You can kind of step it up, throwing in some gloves and a, and a neck protector for some extra padding. Um, a headband, uh, as you guys know, if you guys are watching this and you are a paintball player, obviously, a headband. Everybody wants a cool, fancy looking headband. There's 15 different uh, <laughs> brands, kinds, designs out there. And uh, this one just happens to be the American flag one. And it does have a nice, it's padded and with a terry cloth on the back as well to help prevent sweat from dripping into your eyes. So I would recommend a headband too. When you put that bad boy on top of the goggle, it's going to give you some more forehead protection and that'll always help, you know, ease in the sting of the paintball. Elbow pads, knee pads, kind of jump on into that as well. If you want an extra padding, if you're going to be crawling around, sliding or diving, you always want some good elbow pads to, you know, protect the forearms and the elbows. Um, fully padded, very thick as well. So, and most of this stuff, guys, it isn't very expensive. I mean, it's definitely going to be worth it to protect you if you're pretty much getting into it and doing, doing a lot of crawling and balling out there. Knee pads, same thing. Obviously, if you're um, being, being rough out there on the field, you're gonna want some very sturdy, good knee pads to protect you. You fall down, hit a rock, get you know, a root in the ground, something like that. These are definitely going to protect you. And you're gonna, you're gonna wanna have a good pair. And this is all stuff, you don't have to buy it at once. You know, obviously money only goes so far. So get yourself a nice pair of elbow pads one week. If you need some knee pads, you know, whenever in the low, in the, you know, down the road. But a lot of this stuff is things that you're going to want to wear when you paintball. Yeah. We didn't bring a pair out. Uh, some of the, the, some styles, I know like my JT pants have padding in the yes. knees and the shins. So I don't wear knee pads, but my pants have pretty thick padding, which makes me look For like sure. an elephant when I run. But you know, I and wanted the protection. I'm that's not true ball. too. Sometimes if like Mark was saying, if you do buy the pants that already have the padded knee pads, you might necessarily not need to have another knee pad underneath. Um, just there's a lot of different brands and a lot of different styles and designs that have their own unique custom fit to them. Uh, going to pants, I brought out a pair of like, these are, I call these like uh, camo joggers pretty much. So a lot of guys, when they think of paintball, like I'm in the woods, I'm crawling around. Or if you're a speedball guy, you're like, 
No, we wear bright, flashy clothes and you know, we, we shoot at each other on the airball field. So this is kind of a mix between you're a speedball guy, you want to be cool and flashy. These are just standard joggers. There is no padding in them whatsoever, but they look cool. And if you wanted to wear them in the woods, obviously you're going to blend in. But always make sure you get yourself a nice pair of paintball pants if you're really getting into the sport. Reverting back to, you can start off with jeans and that's fine. But if you really like want to get into the sport, I would recommend getting a nice pair of actual paintball design pants. Um, jerseys, next. Like I said, you can, wear, you can wear a hoodie. You can pretty much wear whatever you want when you paintball other than your birthday suit. So mm -hmm. this is uh, an HK Army, just something very flashy designed, you know, by paintball players for the paintball player. Uh, very lightweight, dry wick, uh, dry fit wicking material, and it does have reinforced elbows here. So it's gonna give you a little bit of extra, you know, being durable in that area. But other than that, I mean, it's very thin, it's very airy, and it's uh, bright and flashy. So once you further, you know, get into the sport more, you're probably gonna want something, uh, something like this. And obviously they make these in, I don't know, 25, 30 different colors and designs. So overall, I mean, basically this is what you should wear. Did I miss anything, Mark? Well, yeah, the most important thing. Well, yeah, I said no matter at the beginning, what kind yeah. of pants or shirts or jerseys or hoodies or yeah. t-shirts and tank tops you're wearing, you need a good mask. Yeah, uh, always would recommend. I mean, obviously, a you can't play without it. B you want to keep your eyes protected, and uh, C they come in multiple designs, sizes, colors. This is a you know very flashy and nice speedball mask, dual pane thermal lens. This is the V Force Grills goggle. And then I brought out this one as well. This one is a full coverage one. So if you guys are out there and kind of like, yeah, I'm, I'm new to the sport. I'm not really trying to get shot in the head or anywhere near the back of the head. This is a full coverage uh, helmet. So it's gonna go all the way down past your chin and then the top and the back as well are fully covered. So you're not, and this is hard, hard plastic. So you're not gonna take any shot that's gonna really, you know, hurt you or affect any part of your head. So covers, so it's a full helmet, full helmet situation going on here. So a wide range of, if you're a beginner, start off however you want, but just make sure you have a lot of the protective stuff. I mean, uh, a neck protector, gloves, elbow pads, knee pads, headband. And like I said, if you want something like this, those are available as well. Yeah, I think uh, I think probably advice-wise, I anyway would recommend investing in a good mask first before For sure. jerseys or any of the other yep. stuff because you can. I, I played in jeans, I played with hoodies, but I wasn't going to use the crappy rental mask that's no. annoying and been worn by 3,000 people. I wanted something that didn't fog and I could see, and it was mine, my For sweat, sure. my grossness. My, my sweat, my germs. Um, so yeah, obviously the mask is very, very important um, to the sport of paintball. And uh, people do, obviously your first time you go out there and you're probably gonna use a rental mask. But if you're excited and wanna play again, you're probably gonna invest 40, 50 bucks and get something, you know, a, a decent thermal pain goggle for you. What about uh, protecting the junk? Protecting the junk, they, yeah, I mean, I could have filled the whole table. Slider shorts and there's all sorts of stuff, but they do have a thing called a slide short out there made by multiple companies. It has normally padding on the sides, for both of your hips and there's padding in the front area to, to protect the privates. So that's gonna be good or guys go out there and wear their baseball or football cup. Uh, that's uncomfortable to run in. So I'd recommend the neoprene um, like sliding shorts that have a built-in cup in the front to protect the boys. Other than that, yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot of stuff you can wear for paintball. This is just, you know, a wide array of stuff I would recommend if you're just getting into it or even you're, you're already, you're trying to take the next step and what should I get next? Elbow pads, knee pads, the list goes on. So this is what you should probably wear when you're paintballing. And uh, Mark, do you have any other closing comments? So the whole gist of it is I can basically wear anything I want to go paintballing. It's the level of protection and comfort As long as you're not naked and you have a goggle on your head, you should probably be, probably be good to go. All right. Yeah. If so. you got any questions, leave them in the comments below or jump over to our Facebook group. I threw up a, a poll the other day to see mm -hmm. what uh, new guns or gun we haven't covered in the past that you'd like to see a review on, uh, go fill okay. that out and maybe we will do a video on them. Give in the us future. a suggestion on what guns you wanna see as well. And as always, all of this stuff is available on the website, lomopaintball.com. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. That's right. See ya.